To input a design into the SWF control panel, insert the media on the right-hand side. After inserting, press the Input or F2 button and use the arrow keys to choose the media type. Press Set. The monitor will now display the design stored on the media and using the arrow keys, locate the design to stitch and press Set. This will choose the selected design to stitch and the design will now appear on the control panel screen. With that design, a slot number for the design memory appears on the right. Press Copy or the F2 button and the design will store into the control panel. Press Escape on the keypad and you'll be directed back to the main screen, which will display the design to be stitched. The first step after inserting the design is to set the needle order or stitch sequence. Press the setting button or F3 and use the arrow keys to arrow down to needle setting. Press set. Within this screen we will change both the color sequence of the needle and the thread colors that display on the control panel. Arrow down to needle color and press set. In order, set the thread color of each needle to display on screen. Use the arrow keys to find the right color and when the color is selected press OK or F6. Arrow over to the next needle, press set and follow the same instructions for each thread color. Once finished with all the needles, arrow up to needle select. Following the design worksheet, input the colors with the appropriate needle numbers. Under needle step number, the top line shows the order and the bottom line will show the needle input. Use the keypad on the right to input the needles and to input numbers 10 through 15, hold the plus 10 button down while pressing the associated number 0 through 5. After the order is finished, you can check the design colors by pressing the simulation or F5 on the keypad. This will display the design with the information that was input in the prior screen. After the simulation is shown, you can press Escape to return to the previous screen. Once the color order is finished, press OK or F6 and then press Escape to return to the main screen. After hooping the garment and lining it up within the machine, you are now ready to trace to make sure that the design will not run into the hoop. Press Ready or the F5 key and the arrow down to gauge press set. On screen you will see an outline that follows the shape of the design. Press frame to start the trace and your machine will move along the outline of the design. Watch the appropriate needle and or laser to ensure the design fits in the hoop. Once the design returns and fits in the hoop, press escape twice to return to the main menu. If the design needs to be flipped upside down, press the setting or F3 button and then press set to access basic setting. Arrow down to number 4 which is mirror and press set. Within mirror there are different ways to change the design but to flip it upside down press 3 on the keypad. Once 3 is selected press set and then press escape twice to return to the main screen. With all the parameters entered press the start button to commence stitching. The design stitching will follow the input you have programmed.